All right, uh, we're live. Back to the game development stream. Hello, folks. We're just tuning in. This is uh, uh, this week's uh, game development prototype stream on Monday through Thursday, in which I do my development work for my prototype that I'm working on, um, and I walk you through what I'm doing with uh, the prototype I'm working on on my stream. Uh, and uh, yeah, it should be hooked up to. I, I might be. I'm showing this in several places, and it should be hooked up to those several places through Restream.io. So if you're seeing this in multiple places, feel free to chime in, and I will respond to your comments as soon as I can. Um, if you chime in right now, I'm definitely gonna respond because you have my full attention. Um, but um, yeah, uh, uh, we're uh, continuing our game development. This is the last week of RPI's Level Up State Incubator program. Uh, where uh, I'm working on prototypes uh, to uh, potentially launch a business um, and getting a small grant while doing so. So yeah, I've made a number of prototypes for this program in the past couple weeks, and this is the last week of doing those prototypes. Sad face. Um, I don't know, I'm, I've been seeing a lot of videos on Ameri English American Sign Language, and uh, I feel like, I don't know, I like it a lot. Anyway, um, uh, so... Uh, yeah, uh, it's, is there, uh, usually at the beginning of the stream, I like try to plug a few things that I think were cool in the past day before I get to the development. But um, yeah, this past day I went to a uh, great talk on uh, by Creative Capital. Uh, they did this talk about uh, resources for artists uh, during COVID-19. And uh, yeah, it was very cathartic, kind of knowing how tough it was for artists. So yeah, that was pretty. Uh, That's pretty, pretty great. Uh, you can check that out on their YouTube channel, which I'll link in a bit. But um, yeah, and uh, and uh, it was uh, there. This great organization that's been uh, helping artists for uh, for a while now, and uh, it seems to be a while now. I don't. I'm not that familiar with them, but they seem to do great work. So you can check them out um, at this website, uh, creative-capital.org. And uh, to start, a good starting point for checking them out would be uh, <clears throat> would be through their uh, through their uh, this link here, which is their list of arts resources during the COVID nineteen outbreak. Um, yeah, they have lots of resources that you can check out, um, and uh, yeah, just tons and tons of stuff to look into for artists because. Uh, uh, we're not getting support from federal government, so we gotta we gotta rely on these funds and stuff to supplement that. And fortunately, there's a lot of people who care about the work of artists and want to supplement their work through these different causes, and uh, including Creative Capital, which is like gather these kinds of resources. Uh, they themselves do a uh, fifty thousand dollar grant to one artist a year, or I don't know if it's one artist, but maybe multiple artists. Um, but you can check them out at creative-capital.org uh, and I'll just do a simple link to that and you can check out their YouTube channel for their talk um, <clears throat> creative capital bum, 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 creative capital bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna do a link to that artists in a COVID economy this is the one I checked out this is their video if you want to check this out um, has a lot of great reference stuff here. Whoops. Good afternoon, uh -oh. everyone. Uh-oh. Pause that. Um, here's this talk. Um, but otherwise, you can just check out their website, creative-capital.com.org, and then also go to this link here for their YouTube. Uh, and they and uh, this is the first talk I saw of theirs, but they do plenty of talks that they just put available for free. Um, it seems to be in their mission to just support artists, and uh, they definitely are doing that uh, by providing all these resources for free to just knowledge share and support the community, uh, sharing this knowledge as a public good. So um, yeah, please definitely check them out, and uh, yeah, maybe get some some grant funding out there and uh, make some money out of it too, um, because you know artists need that. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, so we're continuing our work today. Um, last week, uh, la this week, this week, um, to, uh, uh, we started our work on this week's prototype yesterday. 
And uh, yesterday uh, we uh, did some brainstorming. Let me put on some music while we're working just to give us some relaxation. This is a Studio Ghibli Tributes mix uh, from YouTube. Um, you can hear that in the background here. Watch your ears. Whoops, that's a little louder than I was expecting it to be. Um, oh, we got an ad. And mute that again. St. Jude's Hospital, please uh, give an ads helping kids live. St. Jude's Hospital. Um, anyway, uh, so this is um, uh, also a pro tip for uh, looking up charities is to look them up on GuideStar to see how much money is going to their executives and stuff instead of like to the actual people they're supporting. So check out GuideStar. Um, also, one more shout out I want to give out. Um, Seems like yesterday I had a new follow on my Twitch account um, from Rubbish Bin. Thank you so much, Rubbish Bin, for following. Um, yeah, thank you for following. And uh, if you follow or uh, host or whatever, uh, you'll get a little alert animation for this channel. So uh, yeah, you can do that if you want. Um, all right, cool. So let's do this. Um, oh, you know what? OK, I got some cool music to plug after this after this playlist ends, um, but uh, we'll get to that. Um, anyway, uh, so yesterday we are uh, making a game based on the prompt, uh, what if reality is all a simulation? Um, of course, it's just a starting point. We can just kind of branch off from there. And then uh, then I also kind of reviewed some of the memes we went over yesterday, which was pretty cool, um, about like making a difference however we can as artists, as individuals, with one person at a time, one individual at a time at a time and maybe just plain silliness and fun is useful too. Uh, we got into a lot of philosophy over like uh, reality as being the mental world, the philosophical world, the physical world, the economic world, the class world, the the economic world, um, the, uh, the uh, I don't know, I think I would go even further and say that there's like a racial dimension and um, gender dimension and uh, uh, marginalized gender, sexes, and orientations dimension to uh, to the world that like uh, we tend to ignore in our like typical understanding of the world. Um, but uh, yeah, and then also just a little bit about how games can maybe help us deal with uh, understanding reality and also how maybe games don't help us understand reality and have their limitations on that. And then also on virtual reality. Um, then also stuff about funding talks and whatnot. Um, and then we also went over... Uh, so yeah, I, I went off of that and uh, thought about how to make uh, a game that was like trying to help people um, deal with the reality that is COVID-19 and systemic oppression and authoritarianism and how it's really tough being an artist and how it's really tough being in a being a progressive person dealing with uh, the navigation of neoliberalism and uh, not selling out in terms of uh, uh, supporting those who are perpetuating systemic oppression um, and stuff like that um, and then uh, how a lot of that struggle is dealing with uh, the mental realization of internalized oppression in our lives um, so yeah there's like lots of different forms of liberation and uh, one kind of quote that I hovered around a little bit was, no amount of anxiety can predict the future. No amount of guilt can change the past. Um, and then I just kind of thought in so many different directions um, about like, yeah, like freedom from suffering, the desire to control the world and the illusion of control over the world. Um, the desire to constantly be able to control enough in order to have healing, but uh, never actually confronting our our demons and whatnot. Um, it's a very Western idea that we can produce medicine and science and innovate our way into solutions, but uh, maybe sometimes our solution is an internal one, and uh, it's we should solve our problem. And the way the true answer to solving our problems is through self awareness. So yeah, all that kind of stuff, and then different characters that deal with that. Um, and then I kind of hovered around the idea of like, what if I made these characters 
that were uh, exploring these kinds of themes and uh, and I thought about like what were the kind of characters that I was hovering around. Um, review, plug for creative capital. Uh, yesterday. Um, memes, fonts, and uh, game direction. And then my ultimate direction that I decided on, um, sorry I was just writing notes there for like what I was doing yesterday and what we are going over today, but uh, yeah so I kind of just conceptualized, oh I just, why don't I just write up a design doc for my motivation motivations for follow up to one of my previous games, Confessions of an NPC. Um, what about uh, like all this stuff I'd been previously thinking about regarding a sequel to Confessions of an NPC? I kind of outlined all that here, um, and uh, naming all these kind of unnamed pains that people might have um, through these characters that are kind of like representing uh, the kind of things we're dealing with as individuals. Um, I thought that would be cool to do in this. Uh, so uh, yeah, I had these different characters based on these different uh, stories I've been exploring and these deep dives that I've been doing over the past couple of years. Kind of been this slow burn thing. Um, uh, my interest in like studying the how somebody falls into violent extremism and comes out of it. The story of how someone can escape from entrenched poverty as a uh, as a as a person from even a uh, middle America even um, and uh, how someone is trying to escape intergenerational trauma uh, it, and by entering another country um, then also the idea of like someone who's like an anti-establishment uh, hacker that's uh, trying to uh, rebel against uh, systemic oppression uh, and it's like both it's like understanding it's like traditional versions of it that we understand but also like modern takes on it that we might not necessarily think about as much as a society um, but uh, but also going even further than that um, I don't know there should be something that goes even further than that is what I was concluding and then also like the idea of like a counselor character that like merges these ideas of like understanding uh, theory and like systematic oppression and then how that intersects with like personal trauma and stuff. So I think that's really cool and all to like explore this kind of stuff. But I also don't know if I'm, I don't know, one of my conclusions today might have been like, I don't know if I'm ready to do something like this to tell these stories right now. Um, and I'm not sure if it's what we, re we, what we really need right now. Is to tell these stories because I don't know if people want to hear these stories right now. Um, like I don't know, I don't know how much people want to hear about other people's stories of trauma in a time when there is so much trauma happening in the world, and and then that trauma is like kind of not mapping on one to one with the kind of stuff that's happening in the world right now. So um, yeah, I don't know. So I, I don't know, I'm thinking like maybe I'll go back to the drawing board potentially. Um, I did kind of think one thing worthy of checking out was uh, uh, one thing I was thinking about today, today's thoughts was um uh what if i did a instead of a sequel to conventions of an NBC, do a kind of spiritual successor to uh to my other major like kind of what i view as my major twine work um definitely like my most well-known twine work is uh reflections at sunset uh, what if i did a sequel to that so uh i thought about like uh, it's been a while since I approached that game. I've kind of thought about like what about it I liked, what I didn't like. Um, and um, a lot of my conclusions were 
uh, what it what would I have new to offer from that original formula um, and uh, some things I concluded were that um, new takes on it would be um, it could be a more multimedia experience so uh, it would not just be text-based and image-based and input text-based but also based on drawings and like uh, video searches and uh, other kinds of input voice voice recording camera recording um, I think those would be really interesting um, Um, I don't know, maybe there's a potential for like even like servers of like people's uploads and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Um, that might be interesting. Um, I don't know, that's stuff that's kind of scary. Uh, and maybe technologically wise, it might be a kind of tough to do some of that but maybe that's a good place to be um that was like my other major that was basically my other major idea i had today since uh since uh going on like a walk and uh, watching the talk um but uh yeah i don't know like i i do think overall overall like whatever i work on the maybe like the determining motivation behind it It addresses some path. It addresses the current systemic trauma, even. Um, um, like, yeah, yesterday I listened to, uh, I should say, I watched a uh, YouTube video by the Vlog Brothers and. Um, it was like, a, that's a John Green and Hank Green on YouTube. And um, a, a John Green is known for writing a, a, a The Fault in Our Stars. And then a Hank Green just recently re released a book. And um, I don't know, uh, one of the kind of kind of like weirdly reassuring notes that they he had from that YouTube video was that um, we are on thin ice and that like it does feel like things are getting I don't know scary and dangerous and worse in a lot of ways in the country in our world um, and uh, I don't know it, it doesn't feel good to say that it's not good that that is the truth but maybe kind of just being able to say that is already helping and seeing someone say that like as if they're like a peer of ours telling it to us just having that someone echo that to us is actually I don't know reassuring you know um, uh, I mean that kind of ties into like how um, I've read a little bit on my uh, social media feeds about um, toxic positivity where just trying to be good vibes only all the time and like only allowing positivity into our feeds is like denying reality and denying that reality might like save us from the pain of like confronting that reality but it also um doesn't spare us of the pain from the fact that we implicitly understand it as reality um and uh, yeah, that kind of seems to be like one of the recurring themes of what I was talking about. Uh, what what I've been like exploring is that um, I don't know. Being able able to name like a trauma or a pain is at least something that allows us to begin the process of healing. Um, and uh, you know, sometimes we can. 
Sometimes if we don't name it, we try to seek ways to heal it in some way that um, don't that are outside of us that never actually really heal that pain. Um, so So how do I put that? Naming a pain is the first step towards recovery. And uh, we live in a world where it's easy to, I don't know, escape from ourselves. And, and uh, through pursuits that are external to us, um, external pleasure never really does truly heal internal suffering um, it can give us like a little bit of respite I guess um, but sometimes being able to confront those feelings that we're having and being able to uh, na uh, confront those feelings we're having is like the process of true healing but uh, just naming it is just the first step towards recovery and acknowledging it and giving it shape and defining it um, so I don't know, what about a game that like has that as its core goal? Um, I don't know, maybe it's just like a 10 minute game. And uh, the first part is easing the player into relaxation. Then it gets deeper. Then So I don't know, yeah, maybe that's just the composition of it. So like maybe if it is a 10 minute game, this is like, I don't know, three minutes. And it gets deeper progressively for like another five minutes. And this is like two minutes. Something like that. Um, just mocking it up. And then if they're easing into re relaxation, there's breathing exercises. Uh, maybe they get to customize it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'm already thinking about how that would work. Uh, customize your stock relaxing video. Stock video. Hover. Choose a phrase. Mm, that's text and then choose music so I think that's all dimensions visual audio text-based mental um, and then it gets deeper where they choose um, I don't know, discussion of external pains. And then there's just some text. Maybe this is like a short video or something. Or maybe you just kind of choose all the things.
choose all the things you've been focusing on. So that's like career, uh, clout, um, friendship even. I don't know. Friendship can be like an escapist thing. Uh, for me, it could be like activism. Or, uh, no or knowledge. Social media. Entertainment. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, like to really get full. Full dimensionality to these people. Um, um, maybe work is maybe even more than career. Um, I mean, what are all the possible things you can be focusing on? Um, and then maybe it shows you I don't know. Something that I think might be interesting. What if what if these images funny gifts? That'd be kind of cool. I think that actually make I think that's huh. Now that's that's something that the original reflection of the sunset was missing for sure cuz like you don't want to come back to reflection of the sunset if you're like we're going to deal with this intense thing. Because even though I try to like ease people into it, like it, it's like, okay, you have that terrible feeling, but you don't really want to come back to it. If there's some way to make it like funny somehow while being meditative, that might be a, the next kind of level iteration on it that makes it, um, that might make this sing. And like make you want to come back to it. And uh, I don't know, maybe in the write, the copy writing. And I kind of wrote like as a throwaway idea in the Confessions of an NPC, what if it was like funny in some way or like some kind of funny sense of humor, dark sense of humor. But um, yeah, what if, what if this was funny, huh? That'd really do it. The biggest question is that um, during the relaxation portion, it shouldn't be funny, it shouldn't be distracting. But it can be like fun and playful, so like the kind of middle ground. Can't make this stuff too funny. Middle can't be like a ridiculous high energy meme. Can be like a nice chill animal meme. 
like a relaxed sloth or dog, a hammock. That's the kind of thing we're targeting here. Um, huh. Oops, did our video stop? Okay, I think that's it for our video. Um, that was a Studio Ghibli Tributes mix, if you enjoyed that. Then you check out more by this channel here if you want to check it out. Please support the creators. Um, and then up next uh, for our playlist is um, this album by uh, Too Mellow. Uh, this album, Memories of Tokyoto on uh, YouTube. Um, it's an ode to uh, Jet Set Radio. Um, and uh, it's like a tribute album to Jet Set Radio. It's original music and uh, in the spirit of Jet Set Radio, kind of fan music inspired by Jet Set Radio. And I think it just kind of fits right in there with the Jet Set Radio uh, sound. So um, yeah, I, let's definitely check this out. Um, actually, let's check it out on Bandcamp even. Um, can. Um. Please direct your attention to the Ooh, okay, that's got a little spice to it. This might be a little distract this might be actually a little distracting. Um. Turn that down a bit. All right. Um. Oh, this music is amazing, but I can't really focus on it right now. It's like a little too distracting. Uh, definitely check it out though. I definitely want to plug that. It's really great work. Um, but yeah, I think I need to listen to some more relaxing stuff while I'm working right now. Let's get some of that going again. Um, Interesting. Low f old songs, but it's lo fi remixes. Let's check this out. Okay, you're getting promotion. Sorry, it jumps up the volume a lot. It's much more relaxing. Okay. Um.
Alright, now I share my second display here. Makes me want to take a nap. Wow, that's so relaxing, and I'm so tired, wow. I'm pretty inclined to take a nap, it's like 7.43pm. I know I'm probably gonna wake up at 10. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay up. Um, Seems worth exploring just this idea itself. Why don't I just start making it? I don't know, why not? Yeah, seems good enough to me.
Now I just want to browse this library. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a way to integrate stock video library into a Unity game. Maybe I just can't use a web browser unless I get this kind of asset. So, so I gotta make a choice here.
Tom 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 This is in Clovers And once the nights are over Relaxing video or GIF. Whoa, Captain Jack Sparrow? Whoa, Captain Jack Sparrow is in the chat and he's spamming some nonsense. Um, okay, you just seem to be spamming a bunch of junk. Uh, I'm probably gonna kick you. Hey, what up, folks? How's it going? Uh, okay, you're still saying stupid stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, you're in timeout, Jack Sparrow, for like 300 seconds. Um, yeah, kind of let that slip by before, but um, yeah, try to limit the uh, spam there, buddy. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, Download this. Um, yeah, this seems relaxing. Let's download this. Never trust 
Never trust a character played by Johnny Depp. What the hell are you doing? I'm... Uh, I don't know if that's a comment made in good faith there, um, Edison, but I'm making some- I'm making a Unity game about relaxing and, like, being able to, uh, better confront our, uh, emotions when we're going through a tough time. Um, I think we could all use that sometimes. I don't know what you- what do you think you can in- um, let me know if that's something you're interested in. And, uh, yeah, if you... Also, like, uh, try to be careful with the language. Um, but, uh, language is only a thing, it's mo it's only a construct, it really depends on the intent behind the language. So, yeah. I will try to answer that from a good faith. I'll assume it's a good faith question for the moment. And uh, yeah, feel free to hang out. So yeah, we're developing a game and we just need a few stock images. Okay, I don't think we need many more here. Um, let's get a Unity game open. Um, Stock music. Um, Yeah, okay, it seems like you're spamming a bit there, um, yeah, I, I think it's good to, uh, communicate and relax, but, um, if you keep spamming, I'm gonna, like, do a timeout there, RTG, see you there, um, This is the first time I've gotten some randos in here, kind of crazy, but um, yeah, just gotta... Well, it's bound to happen at some point. Well, we're gonna make a game. I'll even show you like what I imagine is what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna do some uh, some storyboarding here. Where's that common feed from? Yeah, I get you see it's you see it's Seltzer. Um, it's uh it's from YouTube. I'm restreaming this on Restream.io. It's just like showing the common feed from both Twitch, YouTube, and uh, Periscope. If people want to join in on that, but um yeah, it seems like we're getting some uh some kind of like a uh, bad faith actors in uh in a uh, YouTube here. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. Okay, we get more comments from uh from YouTube. Um, let me see if I can get that, uh, ch restream chat going. Um, 
open a browser, chat.restream. Um, whoops. Um, yeah, so uh, is Unity easy because I don't know anything about making games and I have an idea, but if I buy it, I'm not sure if I can figure it out and I don't want to waste money. Unity has a free personal edition if you want to use it. So um, yeah, you can download the free personal version of Unity and it pretty much has all the features you would want from like the full version of Unity. They just have some kind of licensing thing where like if you make over a certain amount of money or if you're a company or something you gotta pay money. But if you're just a you know a regular person just using it to see to see if you want to try it out, um, definitely uh, get the personal edition and get it for free. So yeah, definitely I definitely recommend you checking out Unity. Um, if, you, if you're interested in it. Um, but um, it can be a little tough to start off as like your if you haven't done game programming before. So uh, maybe it's worth checking out something like um, Game Maker or Construct if you're interested in other stuff before that. Um, but yeah, feel free to check out Unity. Um, wow, I just felt like after like 8 o'clock, like somehow, like at the past couple minutes, like just somehow this people just started discovering this all of a sudden. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, feel free to... So this is what Unity looks like, and I can walk you through like how this all works and stuff. This is like my scene from my prototype last week. Um, but uh, yeah, over here is the scene and how you like lay things out in your scene. Then in the bottom right here is uh, how it looks in the game when you run it. And then uh, here's like uh, all the different uh, objects in your scene. And uh, they have a different hierarchy here, and then when you click on them, they have different properties and stuff. But uh, right now, my computer is lagging a little bit, so um, I'm gonna close Illustrator. It's taking too much. I'm gonna close Steam. Um, close Discord. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, feel free to hang out and ask more questions if you want. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get some work done. Um, see how this works. Um, Yeah, I know a seltzer. It's pretty pretty interesting seeing that there's like multiple common feeds now. It's, it's kind of tough to manage actually. <laughs> um, cool, but um, yeah, feel free to hang out. Um, and uh, I know I know who you are. So I'm pretty sure I know who you are, seltzer. But um, but uh, I've been getting in the habit of like referring to people by their username in case they're not comfortable with uh, real names and stuff. So yeah, hopefully. It, but that's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make a new scene and uh, let's get some uh, video in here. And yeah, a new video folder. You gonna call Sam? Okay, cool, Sam. Hey, good to see you, Sam. Yep, no problem. Yep, I always just like to be careful nowadays because you never know with people. Um, Everyone has their personal preferences, and they're all okay. Um, yeah, by the way, this is streaming to, uh, just to like let you know what's happening, this is streaming to uh, Twitch, Periscope, and um, uh, uh, YouTube at the same time. We're getting some more YouTube comments, I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, good, cool, yeah. So I'm gonna check that. So it uh, seems like some spamming is happening again. I'm gonna like uh, do a little, do a little magic and um, uh, kick that person. Um, wow, interesting how that's happening. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get a timeout for like a couple minutes here. So um, feel free to uh, join again when uh, when you're on better behavior and stuff like that. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So, um, how should we do this? Uh, this is a 3D scene. Um, and uh, just from like our mock-up. Um, whoops. Oof, I hate it when this happens. Preview gets all weird when I'm streaming. Um, so, um, the multiple scenes here are that first it loads a video that the player gets to choose. Then, uh, 
do your breathing exercises. Then they pick audio. I don't know, might as well just use the built-in audio I have from the other prototype I made last week on Re Relaxation Simulator. Um, let's see, um, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, whoops. Why the hell are you timed out? Um, I think it's pretty obvious why you're timed out. You're saying like a bunch of nonsense with for like spam. It's spam in the chat, buddy. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm not gonna answer that any further. Um, all right, so uh, three part game, uh, brain exercises, visuals, choose a phrase. Um, yeah, feel free to. Uh, be calm and like be civil and uh, you can hang out but um yeah this is like a this is not really like a spam the chat kind of chat like with like a lot of other games on youtube i've been seeing some other chats where people are like just spamming nonsense and stuff this is like more like hanging out like asking questions um being chill um so yeah it's not that kind of chat um all right so um Relaxing it um okay yeah okay more spam um you're sp you're also spamming the chat that's pretty bad I'm gonna spam that uh, you're getting timed out um it's, uh, it's harassment so um yeah YouTube's got to do a better job moderating their community. Um, I had to on that. Anyway, let's just focus on the game. Um, wow. I don't know, Seltzer. I don't know if you were expecting this kind of stuff here. I was not expecting this. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, let's get a um, video player. Let's just see what happens if we just load something into here. I think it usually needs an object. So this is in here, but it doesn't have an object associated. So what if we add like a 2D UI component? Yeah, yeah, I don't know where... I mean, this is a very, I don't know, a mom and pop kind of a chat stream, so um, I I don't have mods right now. Um, it's really small enough that I don't really need mods at this point. Um, but um, yeah, um, hopefully people can just join in and uh, chill people will be the ones that end up staying, so. All right, so um, See mesh. I don't even know what I would normally use. Um, what if I just put like a plane? Put the video player on the plane. Uh, is stream okay? See it there. Um, let's get a very simple. Where 
why wouldn't the... Let me just see if it plays. Um, maybe it just doesn't play on the preview. Okay, so it's playing, but it's uh, looks like it's upside down. Let's rotate that. Uh, actually, would it be actually? Let me see. It. Let me try it in the preview. No. Oh, it needs to be two dimensions. Okay, ninety zero one eighty. Uh, hey, what's up? Someone speaking Spanish, and I don't think it swears. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, what's up? Baby Castle from Root.com. The Baby Castle on my chill attitude. Awesome, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope I'm not like interfering with another uh, Baby Castle stream that's supposed to be going on now. Um, I didn't. I should have double checked the schedule, but if you're just tuning in for this, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're just doing some game development uh, for uh, my prototype I'm making this week. And uh, yeah, thanks for plugging Baby Castles. Um, this is a stream that's hosted by Baby Castles, so feel free to check them out. Um, Baby Castles is at babycastles.com. So you can check them out, uh, buy some merch, check out other streams they have this week. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do more wins, but uh, and uh, Visual Novel Acid Lounge tends to be, uh, I think it's on hiatus, so um, uh, I think Demon Hour and Pokemon Trainer TV are at their normal schedule times this week, so um, yeah, check out Demon Hour at 11pm and Pokemon Trainers at 8pm on Sunday. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to follow them on babycastles.com. And uh, they also accept donations at withfriends.co slash babycasts. So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, Alright, so we're continuing game development. Um, we're making a, for those who are tuning in, we're making a, uh, a uh, prototype for relaxation during uh, crazy times when uh, a lot of us could use some relaxation. Um, yeah. Alright, um, so... Um, Alright. Yeah, I, I wish I knew Spanish. I'm sorry, <laughs> I could respond to you. Um, feel free to hang out. Um, if uh, even if even though I don't speak Spanish, uh -huh. but uh, let me see. Um, no, no hablo español. Um, Uh, let me see. Um, let's, what are we doing next? So we have the videos in there. We barely got anywhere. We at least settled on the design we're working on today. Probably gonna give it another 45 minutes. Oh, cool. Yeah, voice acting. Yeah. Um, yeah, game. Yeah, there's definitely like um, uh, people in like games who like are into voice acting and audio design and stuff. Uh, I've been doing like some voice acting for my own games and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, thanks for complimenting the relaxation game idea. It's kind of like a response to, uh, like, I don't know, it's kind of a sequel to one of my older games uh, called Reflections at Sunset, and uh, you can check that out here. Um, so yeah, uh, Reflection, it's kind of based on my game Reflections at Sunset, you can check it out on mediaheart.itch.io and it's this very last game here it's one of the first games I had like a it's the first game I had a major release for you can check it out here um, if you want but um yeah uh, feel free to check that out Uh, 
Um, let me see. So I'm just testing out like sharing in a Restream IO's like multi chat. That's interesting. Um, cool. It's the first time I'm doing that. Que ser tan haciendo. I'm gonna search that. Um, <laughs> I don't really have time to translate everything, but I'm going to try and translate this. Um, what to be doing so? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, okay I'm, uh, uh, estoy bien. <laughs> so that's, that should have been obvious. I took, I took Spanish in uh, seventh and eighth grade. Um, but, uh, forgot most of it and I also even like made some games in Spanish for my educational web games job back at Scholastic so all right let's uh try to get some progress on this um uh yeah thanks for tuning in folks um this is really cool um so discussing external world stuff um 10 minute game first price easy and player in your relaxation um so we have let's just have like a choice between the different videos um, yeah, let's, um, okay, I, I left this in preview, whoops. Um, so what if, um, there's just that quick UI thing, um, and I even just used, uh, some code from my previous thing, um, just have a button, and, uh, we'll look at this, and, uh, move this up. I don't know, rotate. Well, two buttons, one for submit, one for rotate. And we'll just have like some sample thing, we don't have to make it fancy. Um, bueno, estoy fuera, claramente no eres el mismo idioma. idioma. Oh man, I, I don't have time to live translate that right now, I'm sorry. Um, I appreciate, appreciate you trying to check this out though. Um, but uh, okay, cool. Dama, also, I didn't even see this. Dama Tipe or a Dama type from Twitch just followed, so thank you for following Dama type. That's really that's really nice of you. Thanks. Um, what was that? So you're you're good uh, and uh, you're, as you are doing fuera claramente clearly no is uh, okay something Shrek and then a bunch of spam. Um, I don't know if that's spam or not, but it's kind of clogging the feed. Um, I don't know, I'm, don't, don't just spam a bunch of nonsense, you're kind of flooding the feed, you're spamming the chat a bit there, please stop that track. Um, uh -huh. okay, yeah, um, okay, that user's getting blocked, um, Whatever. Um, let me see. What other code did I have here? Change drink. But. So we're just gonna do a, a kind of variation on this code here. Um, and then we're going to change this. Maybe it's a person who's typing in another language who's coming out as English. Oh, with the person who just like was chatting? I, I would hope so. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I, I blocked that person because it looked like they were spamming. I apologize if it was another language, but um, I don't know. It was not coming out as a clear language with the uh, dub step. Shrek or whatever. So um, I just blocked that user for now. Might have been a mistake. Yeah, I would hope it's like someone good-natured making a good-natured argument, but um, yeah, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Um, I 
I mean, it does look like it doesn't seem to have the pattern of a language. Like it seems to have the pattern of spam, but yeah, I don't know. Um, and even if it is another language, like I'm pretty sure the chat accepts Unicode. So like any language that's in like the Unicode context usually does come out pretty normal. Like even like CJK languages like Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Um, even like Cyrillic or, um, you know, all that stuff would probably be covered in uh, chat. So I don't know. I, yeah, maybe I would block that person a little too fast, but um, yeah. All right. Um. So, let me see. It's like an. Um. Let's see. Uh, change video. Let's use this as a basis. Oh yeah. No worries. No. I no. It's helping me think through this. Um. Help me like. No, it's it's nice to have your support, Dama type. Um, it is kind of hard to parse through it, you know, on my own. So like, yeah, it, it does help to like, kind of talk it through a little bit. Um, right, let's open this in Visual Studio Code. Um, I don't know. One another thing is like, it might not be a person who's spamming, it might be like a bot who's spamming. That's another concern I'm having now. Um, I don't know. It's a wild world out there. Seems like seems like there's some kind of okay. If I see like more shenanigans, I'm gonna like uh, be very careful um, with what y'all are talking about. Um, yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, definitely a different kind of chat from uh, YouTube crowd than the Twitch crowd. Uh, this is game development, so um, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, pretty amusing. <laughs> um, all right, let's copy the code from the change drink controller and copy it into our change video controller. Um, and then uh, we just gotta rename this. I'll update my. Sure, Persona and Chill, okay. Up next is Persona and Chill, one hour lo-fi mix. Um, I'm gonna rename this. Video. like babysitting. I don't know what y'all are doing, but just like don't. Just like keep it clean. Um, um, okay, let's see. change the uh I want to change the um 
the video player video video player so let me just it's gonna reload this Then, um, player object that video clip. Yeah, my I don't know. This is the first time my chat's gotten this crazy, honestly. Um, I don't know what y'all are doing. I don't know. How, let me know how y'all found this, I guess. Um, hey, what's up? Um, this is the, really the this is honestly the first time the chat's been like this this bonkers. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, just just chill. Like honestly, like y'all can just chill, just be real, you know. No need to like you know be all wiling out. I mean, like this is a chill stream, you know. You can chill. I can chill. We can chill. Um. <laughs> Silly. Um, hey, Fama Gamer. Hey, uh, Ren and thanks for hanging out, Renag Odev. Um, thanks for checking out the game dev stream. Um, so, we're doing a uh, video player component. Um, like, it just seemed like the chat went from like zero to like 60 in the past like 30 minutes. Like, and it's like never been like that before. It's kind of crazy. But, um, yeah. Y'all are free to hang out as long as you're chill. White Monado. Okay, I'm not gonna say that out loud. Um, how? Not sure if that. Okay, that seems to be some kind of a trolling thing, maybe. Um, I don't know. All I can find. I don't know who that is, um, but like. Y'all can. Okay, just just relax. I don't I don't want to babysit this. Like, wow. Okay. Um. I really don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, all right, so um, video component, uh, scripting, uh, oh, I can do it from a URL. Oh, huh. That actually might work. Um, Oh. 
Camera plane, beta player, source, video clip, video clip. Um, I, I don't care. Yeah, I'm like kicking people. Um, I I really, uh, yeah, I just. Yeah, I'm just like kicking people now. I I don't really care who sent what or whatever. I'm just kicking people. So yeah, just stop talking about that. Um, all right. So um, scripting um. Um, manual scripting API. Um, um, Restream isn't a mod. It's like a, it's like a cloud-based multi-streaming platform. It has like mods for like for the sole purpose of like doing the restreaming itself, but it's not actually like a person, it's like a bot. Um, so, um, and then like I have like a, like a Streamlab spot moderator, but that's not really for, yeah, I feel like, um, but that's not really for like this kind of stuff. Um, and I probably should get like a YouTube. I have like Autobots, Autobots. I have bots for like Twitch, but I don't have bots for for YouTube. So might be worth looking into getting a YouTube spam bot too. This makes my life easier. Um, all right. Um, I, I don't care anymore. I just like stop talking. Um. I, um, man, I'm just trying to look up this video clip. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> um, video player, video clip. Um, does not sort of what web. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I said Autobots, it sounded like Transformers. <laughs> I was trying to, I was kind of stupid. <laughs> um, let's see, audio clip. Oh, no. Uh, video player, video player dot clip. Is this video player dot clip? Okay, there, that's the answer. Um, okay, so video player dot clip equals um, video list, and then video clips are what kind of object? Video clips are video video clips. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks for the folks who are being chill and hanging out. I appreciate that so much, putting up with the nonsense. I've, been, I've tried to like kick out all those folks so we can just hang out. Um, thanks for hanging in there. Um,
and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Renag and like TBT and Domatype, thanks for hanging out, um, appreciate y'all being chill. So what am I doing here? Um, I'm taking the latest video clip in the video list, then I want to assign the video player object that clip to new clip. I think that's it. I think that's literally all I needed to do. Um, next. Took forever. Um, yeah, I, I acknowledge that like this is like part of the process of like doing learning how to stream, but um yeah, I guess this is just part of the growing pains of like learning how to do all this stuff. Um, whoops. So let's see if that gets rid of the console errors. Um, okay, console errors are gone. Let's see if that does it. Um, and then, um, whoops. Okay, let's save our scene, sure. Um, uh, let's call it that. <laughs> Listening to Eris theme, that's cool. Yeah, I love I love Final Fantasy VII. Um, Eris' theme is one of my favorite themes. Um, I'm more of a Tifa guy myself, but uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like a, I'm not gonna like, I don't think it's a controversy or anything, but I just, I think everyone has a right to like whichever Final Fantasy girl they want, uh, just like, let's see, um, let's see, we're loading videos, um, we're pushing the next button, um, okay, so we had to add the clips here. Let's say there's five, and then this video player object is in here, and then the list is five of them. So we gotta load the videos in here, into here. Whoops. So then let's do this. There's one. Whoops. This is five, and then this is zero. Thanks for tuning in, folks. How would you all see this stream at all? Like, I'm wondering how the discovery is working for, for like people finding this stream. Is it like in your recommendeds or something, or just like you look in the live tab or whatnot? Kind of curious. Any errors? Okay, I gotta link up the the button logic on click to the next logic. Um, um, let's put this here. And then uh, next video was our code that we did there. Not sure if Trump. Okay, so now we have our videos. I'm not sure which Sid are you talking about in Final Fantasy VII. I know Sid, the high wind pilot, was a uh, was the blonde haired pilot guy. Um, Let me see, um, the videos are moving forward, so what's like something basic we can do in the next 20 minutes in terms of making progress? Um, Alright, um, choose a phrase, choose music.
and it's got to have audio even if it's got the stock video it's got to have audio so I'll say music um, Oh yeah, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy Seven. It's one of my favorite games. That's my desktop. Um, steps. Oh, okay. So you got recommended because you watch a lot of Unity videos. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, I added that to my stream keywords. Um, ask a question or two. Um, Sure. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can message me on Twitch. Yeah, feel free to message me on Twitch. There, Dama type. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, Unity videos. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I added the keyword Unity in my title, so I guess maybe that started recommending it to people, and that's how people found it. So cool. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah. Cool. I'll try to include that next time. Um, and then uh, I should be streaming. Uh, uh, tomorrow and uh, Thursday um, evening around like a similar time like from around like I don't know four or five to like seven or eight or something um, but just today I streamed a little bit later from like around like six to uh, nine today because uh, I had a late start um, yeah thanks for tuning in folks um, feel free to subscribe and follow but um yeah anyway let's just go over the last steps for what we want to do next um some audio uh relaxation prompts oh man this music's getting pretty intense this is persona music <laughs> gosh okay steps on your I want to I think I do want to have the minimum for like the beginning to end and just like as a proof of concept so how would the logic for the prompt be maybe you have a timer or something um, you have a yield or something. What are you thinking about? Check boxes.
third step on video games. Question Who's Genova from Cloud Strife? Uh, come on, man, you gotta be trolling. Your, your, your username's Cloud Strife. You don't know who Genova is? Come on. I, I played Final Fantasy VII back in the 90s on PlayStation at my family friend's place in Connecticut, man. Like, can't be coming in here with that. Come on. You don't know who Genova is? It's like it's Sephiroth's. I don't know. I don't, I, if you're asking that genuinely, then like... Or is that a reference to the game and like where Cloud says that in the game or something? <laughs> maybe maybe that went over my head or something. Um, I don't remember all the dialogue word for word, but... Um, yeah. Maybe it's like Cloud like looking at it being like, who's you know? All right. Um. Let's see. Next task. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't played Final Fantasy 15, but I know that like it's like the it's the I know it's the J-pop boys boy band going on a road trip simulator game. Uh, I've not played that one yet, uh, but I think they used that engine for Final Fantasy 7 remake. Um, yeah, that's one I've been meaning to play, but I think it's just I don't know, just don't have the time. Um, I should check it out sometime though. Okay, so first steps. I don't know, what should I do next now? Um, in the next like couple minutes. Audio relaxation prompt timer. I'll just have like, I'll just use the existing audio. And then, uh... Some text. And then, uh, wait. Is it Cloud Strife? Cloud Strife wants to learn about Unity C Sharp game development also? Wow. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> Oh boy. Um anyway. <laughs> um let me see using a
I don't know. Why not just wait for like five minutes? Uh, you want to finish Final Fantasy VII Remake and that's why you want to learn about game development? That's like what I would have wanted to do, you know, back when I was a kid, man. That's what I... Wow. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and like show some of that off, so um, let's show you some game development then. Um, uh, let's see, audio, relaxation problems, some text. Uh, so let's just bring in some text here real quick, and let's also bring in the audio. Let's do the audio logic first. So um, we have some code here already from my previous project for a music controller. Now um, let's like open that in Visual Studio. And uh, instead of this, let's make a new file for um, uh, oh, huh. Actually, maybe music controller would work. So. Yeah, fun thing in Unity is that you can uh, set up to some audio files and then uh, Yeah, we have our five audio files here and then we have some audio clips we can put in here so we can just drag those audio clips into here and uh, uh, see, we have too many, so we're gonna cut that down by one. And uh, oh, audio source. Um, um, let me see. Um, so, to kind of like explain how some of this stuff works, if you want to learn a little bit about. Um, about, oh, they made a Tifa stage in Smash. Yeah, I, I can imagine what that would be like. Um, having a, Being a Tifa fan, I kind of have an idea of like what a lot of typical Tifa fans um, kind of do stuff with that kind of stuff. So, um, but um, yeah, so like anyway, some coding here is like uh, we have our music controller and uh, uh, this is a public class music controller. That means and it's also a mono behavior. So that means we can plug it in and like attach it to like a unity game object and then uh, just to explain like what's happening here a little bit if y'all want to learn a little bit um, uh, let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow but um uh, so this class is like a bunch of code that we can attach to our uh, game object and um oh man not used to this persona soundtrack but um yeah so then we can have like a bunch of audio clips in here so uh, audio clip is a type of object if you want to hold like an audio clip and then uh, uh, this these brackets here mean that we have an array of them that means we have a number of them so we could have a chunk of five at a time and uh, clips is the name of our collection of audio clips and then public is like means that it's publicly accessible so it's not private it's not privately owned by like this object but um public means like any object can reference that audio clip um there's like a lot more details there that i have to explain before that but um hopefully that kind of makes sense at least abstractly um you're an audio clip <laughs> yeah in a way we're all have audio clip actions cool okay you sent a little whisper okay i'll check my twitch whispers afterwards thanks for tuning in uh i'm probably gonna wrap up soon um but um I don't know I might stay a little bit longer than I was expecting, but um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll I'll respond to your whisper later. Thanks for thanks for watching. Um, but uh, so uh, yeah, and then clip index is uh, another just like uh, variable here. Uh, variable is like a an amount of data that holds information in a program, and uh, it can uh, it can be used to like verify things and hold values for things so this is a clip index is the name of our integer here int stands for integer and we're initializing it to zero so uh clip index is like an integer so that means it's if you remember your uh your math then an integer is like a positive or negative number or zero 
that's a whole number. So ints are really good for holding like 100, 1000, 200, 0, 1, 1 to 5. And uh, it's just like a little bit of data there. And then is playing as a Boolean value. Boolean is a true or false value. So um, yeah, we just have that publicly accessible here. And then we can use that for our purposes. And then audio source is an audio source. And we've named it this like name here. Um, so yeah, uh, this is like a method that's automatically created for mono behaviors. That's called at the start of a scene or like of a frame update um, when it's like when the object's instantiated. Um, and then update is called every frame. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm like skipping over here that like probably should come before this if if uh, y'all are not familiar with what I'm talking about. But I'm just kind of hopefully just give an idea of how all this works. Um, and then uh, now our custom logic here for toggling music is, um, I don't know, it's like our own custom method that we can call from other methods and other objects in our scene that can do all this logic that we have here. Um, hopefully some of that makes sense, um, but I'm probably skipping over a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's all stuff you'll learn uh, from like working on stuff in, uh, in Unity. Uh, and uh, in-game development and stuff, um, one bit at a time. Um, but yeah, this is a language called C Sharp. Uh, all right, so um, hmm, should we just have like, I'm thinking we can just have a mu music controller here for the different ambient sounds and then music also. Sure. Um, We have multiple music controllers. I guess we can. Um, okay. Um, and then we'll have three here. We'll have three clips. So we'll drag those clips into here in our public audio clip variables. Whoops. Uh, I do wonder if this is going to cause an error in Unity to have two music controller um, scripts attached to the same object. And uh, we don't necessarily have to have them both attached to the same object even. Yeah, I might just remove this just to see. Get some more comments here. Okay, someone's making a reference to Thanos. Sure. Um, I don't might as well. I don't think it hurts to have a. Um, hmm. Change video music. I don't. Let's just have the ambient noise for now, and add the music later. Um, okay, and uh, let's add another button. So let's name this button for what it is. This is change video. <laughs> oh, it's just goofing around now. Oh snap! <laughs> My joke there. Oh snap. Um, maybe you'll get that later when you're in the shower. Um, next video, next. the other thing um, text mesh pro hmm I'm just gonna mock this up with a prototype for now and just have it for the very basic
might do some tutorials at some point. Oh, this is music. Okay, my bad. separate it out I remember, I remember liking it's kind of cool games and stuff okay I dragged this into here what happened huh I guess I copied it over and I also had the previous one that was copied over initially. Hey, we got a hundred messages today, cool. Got some other languages in here, I'm not sure what's happening. Zhang Hunuri Sabons, K Sapiri Hui. Huh, what language is that? Uh G Hoya. Is it like, uh, is it Portuguese? It doesn't quite look like Spanish. Okay, now you're just goofing around, okay. Feel free to just hang out, you know. <sighs> Just be chill. Don't like me. It's whatever. Um. Right, I didn't set up the. Set up these objects here. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Think for yourself. Welcome to Twitch. Um, yeah, I don't have much so far. I just have this. And it's supposed to just give space. Uh oh. The audio source, okay. Getting some errors here. It's very early. I have a lot of concepting for what I have. But, uh, and design. I spent two days on that. But, um, okay, so these errors are happening again. Okay, so I need audio sources. Um, yeah, so, yeah, not much so far. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <coughs> oh, cool. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for welcoming me to Twitch. Um, yeah, I'm like still pretty, I'm still relatively new to Twitch. Um, still getting the hang of a lot of stuff and like building my audience and whatnot. Um, but yeah, thanks for dropping by. Um, feel free to hang out for a bit. Yeah, you've been in Twitch for a while. Yeah, how's, how have you been finding Twitch? It's like, it's a, Twitch is a, Twitch is a whole beast of uh, content creation and stuff, right? Doing okay? Cool. So I'm gonna mute my, uh, I'm gonna mute this playlist for a bit and I'm gonna try and test out this code here. Okay, so it's playing ambient sounds. Maybe I'll just have the music for now. 
Maybe there should be stuff for playback speed and stuff too. But um, I'm gonna hide. I feel like the ambient sounds are like too contextual and can like distract from it. So I'm just gonna hide this for now so the player doesn't see it. And okay, what are our next steps that we had in our task list? Um, wait for five minutes, and then there's a prompt that comes up. Relaxation prompt. So let's have our relaxation prompt, and then we'll have our submit button. Um, so let's have our submit button here. Uh, okay, it should probably be higher up here. And then um, let's look in our preview. And then um, let's make our plane even a little bigger. Two and two. Okay. And then uh, let's make these lower. Oh, whoops. Uh, might even deactivate this. Let's bring this down. Um, what did I do before Twitch? Uh, right now I'm a student at NYU Game Center. Um, and uh, I'm a master's student there and uh, going into my second year. And before that, I was a software engineer uh, making uh, corporate training modules for health insurance and also making educational web games for Scholastic, the children's media and publishing company. Um, yeah, so I've made games for a while. Um, I've been making a lot of indie games since undergrad. And uh, it's kind of nice being back in grad school. You know, being able to focus on that and getting away from the working world for a bit. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, Twitch has been something I've been exploring. Recently. Do I only speak whatever that is? Oh, you're talking about the other person. Um, yeah, I wish I could understand you, Jehoa. Um, but um, yeah, if you're okay with hanging out, I wish I could respond better. Um, How does it feel to? How does it feel to not earn money anymore? Um, <laughs> I mean, like, it is a little scary, but you know, I planned around it, and I have savings and stuff, and my family is able to support me. Fortunately, like, I was in some pretty good software engineering jobs where I could save some stuff up. Um, okay, a little argument going on. Just like, take it easy. Don't, don't, don't stress out too much there. I'm not sure what exactly was going on there. But um, yeah, actually, so I actually am earning a little bit because I'm making this prototype as part of a grant at a, as part of a incubator program at a, at a university in upstate New York. So uh, I'm actually getting like a couple, I'm, get, I'm getting like a, I'm getting some money for this grant to work on these prototypes. So that's, that's been helping me out and I'm still like paying rent and stuff. And um, yeah. Like, I've, I've been trying to find little things here and there to help tide me over while I'm just working off of savings now. Um, fortunately, the school provides health insurance, so um, at least I don't have to worry about that as much. Okay, relax button. So, okay, what does our relax button do? So our relax button needs to hide the other buttons, deactivate them, and then... Uh, uh, show up some text and then pause for a while um, and then maybe change the text this text is gonna be center and center like probably top aligned here do I work for monolith soft uh, no <laughs> that'd be kind of which company is monolith soft, uh, soft again Usually I'm pretty good at non-company names. Are they the ones that do um, uh, Dark Souls or whatever? Who's Monolith Soft? Um, whatever, um,
I don't like it being all caps. I think like it's nice when it's uh, like lowercase. Um, Maybe it should be centered here. Maybe it's bottom line actually. Monolith is Xenogear, Xenosaga, Xenoblade, and then there's Xeno in it. Okay, that's cool. Um, responded, but I don't know what he said. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, Monolith is Xenogear, Xenosaga. Yeah, I played some Xenogears back in the day. I didn't get that far in it. It was a long game. Um, I didn't realize... It was never really clear to me that like Xenogears was the same people who made Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, even though the name was like the same thing, I didn't. It wasn't exactly clear to me if it was the same people or not, and they just used the same name. But um, no, I do, I do not work for them. <laughs> yeah, if, in case it's obvious, um, if I if I'm asking what they did, um, <laughs> I obviously do not work for them. But, so uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't really played um that stuff, but um, uh, Model seems like a cool studio. Seems like it's pretty. Seems like it's doing pretty well. Do I like anime? Um, I don't. I don't really watch a lot. I haven't really been watching too many series in recent memory. Um, I've been still going through like the Western anime, uh, Avatar: Last Airbender. I'm getting through it really slowly. I'm in season two right now, but um, I don't know. I've been trying to get into some anime. Haven't really been. Haven't really been able to uh, stick with any anime. Um, I watched a bunch of Cells at Work when I had this cold a couple of months ago. That was pretty fun. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is what's happening inside my body right now. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, I bet, like, I don't know, do some of y'all like anime in the crowd right now? Um, I'd imagine maybe at least some folks. There's like a decent overlap between game, game nerds and game devs and anime watchers. Um, is the relax button so this is should this be lower and then should this be higher maybe this is better maybe this makes more sense let's get this, let's get this at least mostly vertically aligned Make some, play some games based off of anime. Yeah, I mean, I was just, I remember a friend who, uh, who mentioned that she used to uh, not be into anime, but then she played Final Fantasy VII, and she was like, oh, this anime seems really, this, whatever anime is, it seems very fascinating and familiar after playing Final Fantasy VII. Um, that's the gateway drug, stuff like Final Fantasy VII and anime-esque video games. What kind of games uh, are TG? Um, Um, next music, relax button. So let's just have some very basic functionality with this relax button. I oh, don't know, might as well just be custom. Don't have to make a generic relax button. Start specific, then expand to generic. That's like a pretty good coding principle. Um, void. Begin. Relax. Let's see. If you want to hide, relax button. Hide. Customize. Scene buttons. That's like a video. Uh, audio. And uh, yeah. pause. Start. Cares. Change text to relax. Start relaxing animations. Yeah. 
Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Yeah. Those, those, those games are pretty popular. I, those games seem pretty solid. Like, uh, yeah, I played a little bit of DBZ Fighter Z, um, but I, you know, just like to try it out, not to like try and like get good at it or anything like that. But um, I don't know, is DBZ Kakarot like a story-based game based off the anime or something? Because uh, I don't know, I I watched the anime from like the beginning of DBZ to like the it's like the Majin Buu saga or something like that um, and then I kind of dropped off after a while okay hey what's up how's it going um, uh, yeah thanks uh, you don't have to okay thanks what up Amber how's it going um, Let me see, um... Okay, so I can do these things pretty straightforward. So let's hide the relax button. Um, relax button. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Dot, um... I don't know, I feel, you know, it's uh, that's nice of you to like uh, disclose your, your real name, but you do not have to uh, disclose your real name. Um, you know, this is a public chat after all, but um, I appreciate you doing that. Thank you for, thank you for saying hi. Um, is it end? Um, hide. Should it be hide? So what would hide the relax button? Um, image. Enabled. If I had set enabled to false, then um, hmm. Oh, I'm not sure I understand the question completely. Uh, Jack Sparrow slash Amber is it end time on do. Relax button. Okay, I think I might take this stream another like 30 minutes or so since I'm like in a bit of a groove now. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, Did you get disconnected or something? Huh. Did the stream just cut out or something? Huh. Hide this. We can hide the image. Mm. I want to disable the button. Maybe disable the button will have it last. Kingdom Hearts? Cloud, how could you not know what Kingdom Hearts is? You big old troll. What's your deal, man? Kingdom Hearts is just belts and zippers, is what it is. 
What is this playlist? Let's just start auto playing. Can I watch lo fi hip hop mix 1 through 3? So, anyway, um, okay, let's test this out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's impossible to see. Uh, I gotta set it up to be on click. Whoops. Huh. Did that do it? It's got to be the whole object itself, not just the button. Hong I I can't really answer your questions, Jay Hoa. I I know you want to know something from me, but I just can't. I can't live translate it right now. So it's compiling, it's not saying the uh, this done. To Han character. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna try and Google Translate that a little bit. I'm kind of curious. doesn't seem to auto detect the language from that last statement. So I don't know what I can do to help you. Taina seems to be Bulgarian. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try Spanish, I guess. I tried Spanish before. I it doesn't look like Spanish. I don't think it is Spanish. Play fool Han Heinrich Terry Fool German stuff with that. Um, I 
right. Um, next video, next music. I'm pretty sure it's not Japanese. I know, I could be wrong. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Um, Someone seem press relax when you're ready. Let's go to Unity UI Engine UI. And then go to Button. Clickable. Button. Focusable. Text. Clear. Set enabled. Gotcha. Set enabled. Okay, I'll just say set enabled false. Not doing very much so far, um, that's for sure. Um, uh, so all it does is just open a few, show different images and music, and uh, then it's supposed to like allow you to meditate listening to the ambient noise and stuff. It's pretty early. It'll be further along by tomorrow and Thursday for sure. 9.32, you heading out? Okay, yeah, it's pretty late. Yeah, feel free to head out. All right, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe. Um, Um, I should take a break soon too. Yeah, I should have done a uh, quick mock-up of this, but I'll just do a quick mock-up of how this is supposed to look like just on a whiteboard. Just give an idea of what this is supposed to be like. Um, Thanks for tuning in as long as you did. Um, let's see, so this is the game design doc I have here. It's gonna be part so it's gonna be a 10 to 20 minute game. Part one is a short portion. So 
three minutes of relaxing, five minutes of what are you thinking about, two minutes of what you're having to think about. Maybe the whole game is part one. Maybe this is basically relaxation simulator. Two is the checkboxes. So this is what I'm working on so far. If you can see this, folks, this like whiteboard thing here. Uh, I'll have a little bit ready for you in a bit more. Part three is what haven't you been thinking about text entry paragraph and then uh like the this is like my concepts for it so like let me see what this looks like basically sequel reflection of sunset 2 10 to 20 minutes long three parts re relax question and question part one relax customize your relaxation with video audio text and play it then uh Relax for several minutes. 
Then part two, you get a question, what are you thinking about with checkboxes? Then part three, what haven't you been giving space to? And then you respond with a uh, video or drawing. So I don't have much more time. So what I'm gonna focus on for the rest of the night. Relaxation prompts, some text. Wait for five minutes. And uh, yeah, down attack follow. Thank you for following. Okay, I know. I think I'm getting tired also. Running low on fuel. Um, I think I'm tired. Uh, I said I was going to wrap up much earlier and I got on much further than that. So I think I'm going to wrap up. Um, thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, if you enjoyed this, you can follow me on uh, and check out more of my games on these platforms. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch. Or check out my YouTube. And I guess there's a decent amount of people on YouTube today. If you watch this on Twitch, feel free to follow. If you watch this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. Uh, and uh, if you uh, uh, and also, if you have Twitter, I'm also on Twitter at Mudita Heart. Uh, so I will be streaming tomorrow and uh, tomorrow evening around a similar time, and also uh, Thursday evening. Um, feel free to tune in there. But on the other, but it's not really clear what times it'll be. Um, in general, it'll be around the afternoon Eastern time, so around like 4 to like 7 or 8 or so. Um, we went a little later today because we started later, because there's some talks I went to. But um, yeah, feel free to join in uh, later uh, this week, Wednesday and Thursday, and I'll see y'all there. Um, also, this stream was hosted by Baby Castles, so please support Baby Castles by following... So please support Baby Castles at Baby Castles, Twitch, um, you can also uh, uh, check out their schedule at babycastles.com. And uh, donate at withfriends.co at Baby Castles. I don't you know, don't stress about that. I know it's a tough time, but um, if you're interested, that's only if you're willing to and interested in doing that. But um, I know it's a tough time, and people are having trouble paying rent, which is why it's so important things like pay cancel rent. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna wrap up. I'm really tired. <laughs> really long stream today. Uh, so many cool people tuning in today at various points. And uh, yeah, thanks for dropping by, folks.